All right, all right, everyone. Patch 3.2 has landed, and we are getting a new start. The Crusader Kings 2, the Iron Century. I'm gonna use this opportunity to teach everyone on how to take over the world as pagans. It is quite straightforward after you know what to do, but they really do have a bit different playstyle from the Catholics, the Muslims and everyone else. You need to stay moving. You need to be aggressive. You need to take over your neighbors. I'll show you how. The start as Mr. Karjalainen. All the normal rules. Iron Man mode enabled. No saves coming here. So, the game plan with all the pagans for me is usually the same. You please creak your neighbors. You become a king using your ambition. Uh, let me find the your kingdoms, in this case Finland. We want to become the king of Finland during the lifetime of our first king, which might be hard, or at least during the lifetime of our second king. Let's see what is our martial skill. Perfect. He's excellent first king. Carpet stats, but martial is great. Exactly what we want, because this guy will be doing nothing else than kicking ass and chewing bubblegum. But bubblegum isn't invented, so... There's not a whole lot you can do. Okay, we will pick ambition, become king of Finland. After we've united the people of Finland, all 200 of them, we will want to figure out which religion we're gonna follow, probably becoming Catholic at some point. I'm not feeling like reforming Suomenusko this time, I've done it before. I've been loyal follower of Ukkobat this time. It's not the point of the campaign, I wanna make Empire of Pohjola, which will encompass Lapland, Finland, Nenetsia and Perm, and I will make Empire out of these. All the poorest countries on earth. It's gonna be glorious. We will have a population of like 2,000 people. We will be shit poor, but we will be huge. It's gonna be great. And it's gonna be the coldest empire ever. All right. And after we have secured a religion, we will build some stone hill forts to the most important counties and duchies. And when we feel like actually expanding more without getting shattered with each succession war, we will become feudal. So, this should work with almost all the pagans. I'll show you how. We actually have 1,500 men. Okay, which is our shitty neighbor. Okay, you only have 900 men. Perfect. We will try to block Suomi from Swedes. We will try to blitzkrieg our way through Pohjanmaa to Suomi as fa fast as possible. And probably then Joensu or the Rust doesn't get that. Hmm. Let's see. We can't win them yet, so yeah, we need to try to block the Swedes first, and then the Russians. And Kievan Russ is pretty strong, it's scary, but I think we can handle it. Okay, let's force the ancestors. Guide my sword in battle. Thank you. Okay. Day one, war declaration is the way to go. Subjugation. Do we have the ambition, actually? Yeah, we did take the ambition, great. Everything is in order. Okay, which is our least shitty province. I guess it's this one, which is called Olonets. Mm, I will have to click here. Okay, there it is. We are now bro being progressive in Olonets. We are improving the place. That is great. Let's take over Kainu. We don't have any vessels to worry about. So this should be pretty straightforward. We will probably lead the army by ourselves. Do we have any other commanders? Doesn't seem like that. How oh, is our court? Ah, it's all good. Let's train root troops here in Vienna. Build zeal. Build legend. Okay, that should do. 
Can we make better commanders? My council, minor titles. Okay, we can relieve this guy straight away. Nothing much she can do to help us. No, we just need to create a better one. I shall make Archer a commander. Okay, you will lead these guys. He's not the best either. Well, oh, he'll have to do. Alright, boys. Come on in. Ah, perfect. You can sacrifice this young virgin. And that helps us pick patron deity. Tapio is the god of war here. We get some marshal. Well, actually, he's god of hunt. But hunting, warring, same thing, pretty much. Hunting people, hunting deers, hunting reindeers. Mm. Doesn't really matter. Do we have anyone to marry to you? Oh, this 12 year old beauty over here, daughter of Khan. Okay, our Leva size just increased. How do you pronounce that? Levi? Levi? Uh, I don't know. English too hard. I should be making this in Finnish. We're playing in Finland after all. But there's quite a few more people understanding English than Finnish, so... I'll be entertaining you. Okay, let's increase the speed a bit. I think we're catching up with the ongoing matters. Okay, you go to Kainu. Okay, Finland is not yet at war with Swedes, which is great. Mm. I don't really care. I think this kingdom will shatter after this particular Ruriki dies. It will break into at least two parts, if I remember correctly. At least if it's the same as in Crusader Kings 1, as it used to be. The Russians are not the most stable folk in this game. Because they too are pagans. And pagans don't get cool laws that help you maintain your kingdom. Okay, let's go kick those guys out of our capital. Capital forest. <laughs> no cities. Those are our pine woods over there. Get out. We just have to hope that our king doesn't die in battle. Because that really sucks in the beginning. Okay, we are now proud or not. We try to be proud, but we just can. What kind of a guy are we actually? Skill tactician, lustful, brave, kind, gregarious. Oh, he seems like a high testosterone kind of a guy. Just not into this kingship thing, like he just likes to kick ass and talk to people. I would have a pint with him. Oh, okay. can allow rev revocation of titles. So the aim is to go to maximum tribal organization at some point. But before we get actual organized religion going, it's gonna cause lots of unrest among our vassals. So what we first want to do is to find our true faith in the world. And decided on it just yet, but I think I will become Catholic at some point. They have lots of fun mechanics. Maybe we'll build some great walks to our forests too. Highly unlikely given our income, but we'll try. We we'll try our hearts out. When we become Empire of three kingdoms, we might have some meager income to put to some province we have. But it will never be extremely impressive, let's put it that way. Oh, what's going on? 
Everybody's killing and sacking. Well, let them have their fun. All right, we have won the battle and the war. And our soldiers had fun, which is the most important thing. Okay, do you like us? No, he doesn't like us. Furious, dishonorable, defeated me. You're not getting no titles, sure. Uh, you hate me a bit too much. If it was something like minus 60, it would be doable. But this is quite a few modifiers then. So, we'll just keep on blitzkrieging. Hope we don't get assassinated too fast. That's what we do best. You don't have too many men, so we will block the Swedes of our beautiful country. Actually, you can go there first. So many new counties. Okay, they have a friend. That is nice. Okay, they're leaving. March, March. What's going up with our stewards? You can be the steward. I guess we need a bit better spy master. Since we have we are gonna be making lots of enemies here. Oh, that's lots of men. That is not good. They are outnumbering us. Huh. Okay, we need new nobles. Yeah, let's get a holy man. Maybe you can become our spy master. Nobody will suspect the holy man. With zero intrigue. Okay, guess we need a noble. Excellent. With three intrigue. Okay, much better. But at least we have better holy man. Who's a bootlicker? Sycophant. Exactly the type of courtier we want. We should get married. No, we don't have a wife. Because she died. Oh, I guess that happens. She would help us with our marshal. And I guess we won't be breeding anyway. Okay, who's the angriest lady of them all? This 13 year old lady over here. Okay. This Russian 13 year old beauty over there. Gonna be our new wife. Or one of our wives. Okay, this will let. No, let them have their fun. Hi, Chief Otsu. Hmm. Let's not make too many enemies. Okay, hang the culprits. And try to take over Suomi. Oh, some Estonians are running around. <laughs> okay, it seems like we cannot siege it just yet. This means... We actually have to go back and reinforce if we can. Oops. Okay, now we just have to pray that we actually win. Put in some commanders. Okay. Hope we can make it. Hmm. It's gonna be tight. We have pretty good commanders. Inspiring leader. Okay, keep fighting. Keep on fighting. You can run them off. Perfect. We just need to win this one. Victory. Okay, great. We can disband our troops and call them back up. That way... Actually, we should probably go to Vienna and get, 
get that back first because it will likely hold lots of our grooves. The fact we were defending probably won us to battle them. But that was tight. They have more men than I thought because I didn't notice they actually have a vessel. They could call. And this guy is not gonna help us at all. He doesn't give a shitty villi for them. Yeah, let's take Vienna back. They should have less people there than here. Okay, there we go. Let's speed it up a bit. It's gonna take a while. Okay, they're taking Satakunta back, but maybe we're gonna be faster. Okay, defenders. Time to quit. 96%. Not quite enough. Okay, disband these guys. And wait for a second. So they can recharge. Funnily enough. Well, these guys are taking a bit of an attrition. Hopefully. Yes, we can potentially field many, many, many more troops than they can. Mm, I'm not sure if I should risk anymore. I should probably call them. Yeah. Okay. Let's have another battle. I think if we win this one, it's gonna be over. And we will have successfully blocked them away from our or blocked the Swedes away from our country. Okay, we'll meet them in Vienna. We will not meet them in Vienna. Hmm, I wonder if we're gonna get some penalties here. Probably. They're taking attrition. This is actually perfect. If we wait until they get attrition in Joenso. And we just keep cancelling our movements. This is funny. They don't seem to be losing any men though. Okay, they lost a few. Are we gaining any men? I think we are. <laughs> Okay, we can play this game for a second. Has this happened to anyone else, actually? I'm not sure. Oh, that's not good. The Swedes are here. <laughs> we got outmaneuvered. I didn't even notice them. Okay, now we can at least win very fast. The Swedes got Finland. The one province. But I think we can now easily win the Swami at least, so let's just speed it up a bit. But now we're in a hurry. Let's hope they don't take any other regions from us. Those damn Swedes snuck up on us. Okay. Satakunda will be ours. Yeah, you look decent. Beautiful five wife for my son. Okay. Welcome to the Kingdom of Finland. Soon to be. Alright. Now it's gonna get tricky because these guys have much bigger armies. Well, he doesn't have much bigger army. I guess we can take this guy first, but I would really like to rush you and soon. Okay, we can now marry. Perfect. She has great assets, great stats. We can use her for our kingdom. One thousand two hundred men. 
1,300 men. Mm. But is it enough of an edge? Should be. And I really want to keep the Swedes out. And this guy's a bit tough. He's not in a war. Okay. It's time for proper subjugation. Maybe someone can join us. Okay, he doesn't like us either. Mm. What can I say? I'm not sure of the supply limit. Okay, who is this lady? Mm. Okay. We don't really have rules of marriage for Finns, so it's not considered unpolite to meet other ladies in their bedchambers. Okay, we run out of money, which is a bit unfortunate, but we'll be taking over Hammer soon enough. Okay, okay, we can do it faster. I think the fortifications have gotten tougher from the first start. They're not quite as easy to take as before. I hope these are not Swedes. It is the Swedes. Damn you. I think they're gonna take Karia as well. If I don't manage to subjugate them before. Which I don't think I will be able to. Is so annoying though. Maybe I can actually sneak up on Karia and have the priority over the siege because they are now fighting in Finland. Okay, we became brilliant strategist, which is great. We have a bastard. Mm. I don't care about my wife's opinion really. We will legitimize the guy. Hope we get to subjugate the wall hammer before Swedes get anything more. That's the plan here. I think we have it. We have it in the pocket. Okay, we got the son called Tommo. That name is no longer in use, I think. I don't know any Tommos. Okay, maybe we can now get Uzima. Gain half health. Let my rule begin. Perfect. Getting healthier. Okay, I think the Swedes have the priority over this one. Unfortunate. I should have just thrust Uzima instead of fighting in Hammer. This was a strategic mistake. Yeah, they are getting the land now. I think this will become a standstill now, I'm not sure. Mm, it's our court here. No, I'm just gonna take the piety. It's more important here. I think we can just leave the place because we're not gonna get them place anyway and we're just wasting money okay we can maybe just kick their asses once more oh my god they actually got the place it was besieged by me they shouldn't get that place hmm but it looks weird who is it don't buy okay some Who are these people? Okay, so this is different nation from this guy. Different shade of blue. This is so annoying. But these are two different Swedes. Which is good. There might be some infighting and I can jump on them. 
We should be able to secure enough land to get the Kingdom of Finland anyway. So, this is not catastrophic. Okay, welcome to our country. Okay, we can now create Kingdom of Finland. For which we need 154 gold. We are missing some. But I know exactly where we're gonna get it. Let's create some looters. Ooh, this looks very inviting. Okay, we can get some six gold from there. I should probably try to get your answer first, so the Russians don't get that. The Novgorodians. Oh, it seems that the Kyoman Rus collapsed with their king, which is great. Oh, well, they do have 62 year old war god leading them, so. Not sure. I should probably wait for him to die and this Marshal 2 guy inheriting the place, after which we can pounce on them. Then again, I'm not exactly spring chicken either, or that's what you call it. I'm not sure. I heard a funny way to say old person. We should probably also loot our Finnish neighbors. That's not gonna make us any friends, though, but. Oh, our spy master got killed by armed thugs. Well, oh, he really sucked, sucked anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, she doesn't like us at all. She wants to be in our council. Okay, welcome. You can protect us from backstepping, and hopefully not backstep us yourself. Do we actually have people to ransom? Not really. Okay, we denounce this guy. We don't need any more legitimized bastards. We have too many as it is. These are the exact same color, it's hard to say. Oh, we found X plus two. This is perfect. An early artifact. Okay, I think we are solving our budget problems the best way possible. We're making them pay for it. Literally. We're just taking all their swag. 5,000 fucking speeds. That is too many. That is not good. Well, I hope they will be concentrating in each other rather than our beautiful nation. Okay, they just became angry at us. But now they're moving towards Swedes, which I hope is good. Is this some kind of a civil war going there? Let's check it out. Oh, the Danes are attacking. Okay, and they're attacking Novgorod. Maybe this would actually be a good time to try to take our provinces back. Or well, maybe not. They have 5,000 people right here. Why do they have 3,000 men? I uh, don't know, but it's time to go. Okay, you can have one gold. I think it's better to just disband rather than face their wrath. We lost 800 men, but we can just regain them later. Where did you get so many men? 
Oh yeah, it's because he's a war god. Still a bit weird. These are by far the best provinces over the place. It's because of the temples, actually. I think that's what's doing it. I'll we'll just have to wait for this guy to die. I hope he doesn't come and raid us. But it was extremely valuable information. We're not gonna win this for war. And I don't think we have to worry about Novgorodians taking them over. Because this guy can actually defend himself. So we can concentrate our efforts into this guy. 1200 men. We can have 1500. But we could actually just save up and make Kingdom of Finland first. We have just enough provinces. Barely. And they might actually just accept our rule later on. No. My son isn't actually the most con. No, actually his diplomacy is pretty good. Hmm. That is something to think about. Maybe I should save up, become king of king of Finland, and just ask them to become our vassals. But that doesn't really sound like my style. I want to subjugate at least this guy. Okay, this guy actually joined us. We finally have a vessel helping us. Guess we made him our spy master and he actually likes us. Which is great. Okay, I think we can beat them. In Kainu. Especially with these guys probably joining us pretty soon. Don't go there, come here. Idiots. It's no time to build any monuments. Okay, it seems. This war is safely in our pockets. We can speed it up. Pick a patron deed. Tapio is a good patron. He's been helping us out a lot. No. We're not gonna be building any monuments. Casualties. Oh, it happens. Casualties. We keep dying for no reason. Oh. My grandfather. Granddaughter also died. From Pneumonia. Or however you say that disease. The horrible cough and fever. That's what we call it. Some kind of demonic possession. And now we only have Savo to conquer. And no, actually we can get rid of these guys first. Get out. It's our Kallaves, not yours. Aha. Uh -huh. Joensu tribe has actually been kicking some <laughs> Swedish ass over here. This guy is like absolute chat. He's just running around kicking Vikings out of their country. <laughs> this is perfect. Okay. Welcome to Finland. Soon to be. Okay, now we need less money for it. <laughs> this guy is just absolute menace. He's everywhere. Look at it. If I subjugate him, I actually gain all these provinces. Let's see. Okay, we need to find a new chaplain. 
new shaman for us. Also. We need a regent. I think you can handle it. It's diplomatic. Oh, you can be our court physician. You are also Greek Orthodox. That's interesting. You're gonna struggle all your life. That is your childhood focus. Oh, he's spreading his religion. And we need money. <sighs> Time to light the fire. Guess we have to find a new <laughs> court physician. Uh, I don't trust this guy to actually <laughs> save me from anything. But I guess he can do it. Just if he's our surgeon, we're gonna get killed pretty fast. Okay, our chancellor is also our regent. If I get sick, I'm instantly gonna get poisoned by my worst rival. Okay, you're gonna struggle too. That's just the way it is. Wonder when this guy's gonna die. He's 66 years old. As are we. I think we will be hard pressed to actually get enough gold by the time I die. There's a peasant revolting king. But it's actually part of the Lapish kingdom, not the Finn. So we don't really care. We'll get these lands later on. They're not exactly the highest priority. Not gonna be building any metropolitan still. Okay, they got our two best provinces. Well, I guess Uzima is also good. This one has our temple in it. How many men do you have? 84. You have 3000. Guess we can challenge him later on, but we first need the rest of the Finland. Ooh. Okay, there's some. Khan kicking Novgorod ass. This is great. I don't like Russian straw. Okay, let's play some games. Okay, let's read some books. Defensive crown sounds good. Spread out heavy and light troops evenly among the lines. We have won the war game. And we became a poet. That is great. I didn't even know that I can read. Given that we have no schools. Yeah, let's get some military organization going. We'll help with our morale. Okay. My lover's gotten pregnant again. Okay, now we're a poet. That's great. Becoming a poet at the age of 67. Finally fulfilling our dreams after killing half Finland. Use the law. Okay. It's not gonna be joining any factions. Okay, now we still need some tons of gold. Yes, we will have to be raiding. Can we somehow ask for notifications about this guy? I don't know. Because I would really like to know the exact moment this guy dies. Total special interest. Okay. He is now interesting to us. No, she's not a, my daughter. Denounced. Great box. That's not good. No, can spare the gold. I would like to, but I need the king title. 
just died already. It was 68. That's abnormal. All right. Well, I guess this is a good place to wrap up our game. It's 8 July 950. Our next goal is to wait until the guy from Yuensu dies. So we can take over and subjugate his county, his dukedom, his high chiefdom. And after that we can form Kingdom of Finland after I die. Maybe my son actually has some cash. No, he doesn't. He's shit pop. <laughs> but we will have to save up about 100 gold, get the king title, and after that we can get our game rolling faster. Oh, it seems like Pechenex also took over part of the rush. Hmm, that's interesting. Oh, they're in many, many pieces now. Not as threatening anymore, which is great. But yeah. See you in the next episode at Dictac Tactics.